To help you manage these stakeholder requirements and conflicts, you can use requirements traceability metrics. In theory, it's just a spreadsheet that maps the project requirements to the stakeholders who requested them, the project objectives that these requirements help achieve, work breakdown structure elements, and other aspects of the project. But in practice, I recommend implementing the concepts and ideas of the RTM within the project management tool you use. For example, you can use custom fields in Jira and its table view to create a requirements traceability matrix. When defining requirements, you also need to consider quality management. And think about the quality of your product as a separate set of additional requirements. In the IT industry, you must develop processes and utilize technical solutions to ensure quality of your products. You need to think about the environments for development. For example, you may need to set up development, QA, staging, and production environments. You need to write the definition of done for user stories. And on the other hand, developers may need to write additional tests for their own code. Also, the quality assurance team requires an overall strategy for testing and verifying product quality. They need also rules and guidelines for defects. So you get the point. You can't implement this on the fly. You need a strategy upfront. But here's what's even more important. You need to understand that all this work is in the scope of the project. You need to identify tasks and allocate sufficient time and resources to ensure that your team can maintain quality and address defects. Again, remember that during the initial planning, we do it on a high level. Later, we elaborate on everything in all the details using the rolling wave technique. 